this is a you know it's sometimes people can troll you with a look you know and sometimes nelson is a look troll <laughs> just looks at you and trolls you i don't know what you're talking about it just happened it just happened <laughs> He's peeking from under the bill of his cap in a <laughs> troll-like manner. And it's very bothersome to me. And, and you know what's worse? Is the producer of the show, who is my wife, laughs when he trolls me. It's insane. At any rate, we're going to talk about some boxing. There's some. So first and foremost, Marcos Rene Madonna. I really like Madonna. I really like Madonna. I really do. Um, I always have, right? He just, he is a fighter. He is a fighter's fight. I mean, we're not necessarily talking about the most technically sound guy, but he is a fighter, right? Um, he is coming back after a five year absence from the ring. Like I, he, I coined this term, the Mayweather retirement plan. Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> get pay, uh, get beat, get paid, get fat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I coined that off of my daughter. You fight Mayweather, you get beat. You're going to get paid, probably the biggest payday you ever had. Mm -hmm. And then you go get fat because you retired and you're good. My daughter did that. He really did that. My daughter got up to two. He's up to like 200 pounds. What? Yes. That's crazy. So there's some rumors floating about. Well, he's definitely coming back, at least if he can get in shape. And the the rumors are is his first fight back supposed to be around July, and he will be a, he's probably going to fight at either one sixty or one fifty four, which is too big for his frame, but it's realistic for him to work his way back down to one forty seven. And then once he's back to that, once he's down to that point, uh, that the rumor is that he's going to get a big name, and that big name is more than likely going to be Adrian Broner, which will be a rematch of. Their first fight, obviously, which it was Adrian Broner's first ever professional loss. Um, he beat Adrian Broner down, basically. Mm -hmm. He he bullied him. He uh, took away his space. He He's the first guy that we ever saw hurt Broner. And because Broner has a great chin. Broner has a great chin. I tell people that all the time. He has a great chin. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I, I actually think that it's a good fight for both of them. Right. And my Donna just at this point just needs a fight because he's, you know, wanting to come back. And, you know, so he comes back at 154, 160 against somebody who's not a a huge threat, but it's just to get him into in the shape. And then he fights Broner at 147 if this comes to fruition. And because right about now, Broner needs Broner need the best thing for Broner is a beatable opponent with a name. That's the best thing for his career right now, right? Because what PBC, Showtime, Al Heyman, what they have to do with Broner now is they have to be able to convince people again with some sort of smoke and mirrors that he is an elite fighter. Because for the most part, everybody thinks that's not the case. I mean, there was a rumor kind of uh, started and speculated on, and it started with us at Forbes, to be honest, uh, myself and my colleague Peter Kahn, we were writing about you know the prospects of Thurman, Keith Thurman taking on Broner. Well, Keith Thurman got wind of it and he laughed. He's like, dude, really? Why, why would he ever deserve a title shot? You know, if anything, he should be in a title eliminator fight. So Broner, him and he and Broner kind of went back and forth about that uh or whatever, which I guess in some ways was kind of testing the waters to see if there was actually interest in it. But yeah, I mean Broner's at the point, man, where this, he doesn't need he needs to he needs to be fighting somebody who's beatable, but who has a name. And Maidana, after a five year uh layoff and after blowing up way out of shape. Okay. Now let's let's tell the, let's tell the truth to the people. <laughs> you said blowing up way out of shape. See the thing is when athletes get out of shape, like until they older and Maidana's only thirty five years old. So he's right still on the outskirts of his physical prime theoretically mm. but he got give me an extra apple pie fat he got chunky chunk chunk i mean no he got fat shame fat yeah you know he what i mean chunk, chunk. 
Yeah, he fat. And, and, and you know what? With the, the biggest like thing he about never it was before. You know what the biggest thing about it was is that he was happy in that. Yeah, oh, I, he looked happy. He happy, man. He we like he's chilling. The best he's food. I mean, chilling. he's not eating the best food because you can't look like that eating the best food. He's, yeah, I mean, dude, he's chilling. He, so, he's eating, you know, buttered sugar. Yeah, I mean, and you see pictures of him eating and we, smiling. We need to get one of them up in here with the edits if we can, because he looked ridiculous. Yes. And I'm with the 98% of the population that saw the Pacquiao fight in the aftermath that never wants to see Broner fight again. Yeah. I don't want to see Broner fight anymore. And it's not because he's a bad fighter. It's because what my co-host said here on this show. Maidana knocked the fighter out of him. And apparently, he's just this guy that's on a bicycle all the time. Trying to well, win on points, losing two to one on every exchange. Yeah. I mean, that's, here, that's not, I, that's not, I, it's supposed to be a fight, man. Like, it's a boxing match, but there's supposed to be some dog in you. And he, and I don't see the dog in him. I'm not interested in him fighting anymore, ever. Well, here's the thing. This is the, exactly the reason why fighting Madonna might be the only thing that can help him because if my donna if my donna exists we need evidence that my donna exists because the man who has his name, my donna. <laughs> you know, the man that ate marcos I, mean, yeah. I, I, I wish mean, this was in hot and cold so i could throw an ice cube at the camera right now <laughs> i am cold I'm, I'm cold on Broner. Broner could fight Anderson Silva. I might not watch. Oh, like, yeah. We, we got to watch that one. We got to watch that one. We got to watch that one. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. He threw. I, I don't know. I I, I um, I don't know, man. I, 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 I think that I understand what you're saying, and I kind of feel the same way. But I do. I kind of think that from a I, – I can't help but put on, like, my promoter hat with this. Yeah, and when I put on my promoter hat, I'm like, "This is." And, this and is you see, uh, 250 pound Maidana and uh, eight, running away Adrian Broner, who thinks no, he's mean, fight, he I'm, clearly lost. Even, even and if he's I like, get, can't wait. Get, even if I get Maidana down, if I can get Maidana down to 147, even honestly, if I can get Maidana down to 154, and I tell Broner, "Hey, Broner wouldn't have any problem coming in at 154. He'll love yeah. that. Yeah, he'll love that. You know, so." I'm thinking, like, I know I can sell this fight. But do you I know I can would, sell this fight. Would that be a good boxing match? It might. It, you know what? It might not be a good boxing match, but I think it might be a good fight. I don't think so. I mean, because Madonna forces you to fight. You have no hold, other choice. Ho, 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 ho. Yes. That the old man Madonna. Who, yeah. This, but this maybe the man who ain't Madonna. Madonna might not <laughs> be able to fight. What he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> he might not be able to force you to fight. <laughs> and he might just put his hands on his hips like <laughs> and yo he, like the idea that he's gonna look and, and it's possible because he's a professional athlete but the idea that he's gonna come down bodily transform himself from being completely and totally in terrible condition and then give you a good fight and, chasing and the, Adrian the Broner is, around who has no intention of fighting you know, the, oh, no. the, the, the reason why it's it, it seems less likely is because he was happy. It it appeared yeah. as though he was happy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you're happy and fat, you have to go through something to make you go yeah. through the suffering of working out and eating clean. Yes. 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 Un you don't just he, be like, oh, man, I'm putting this cheesecake away because yes. it sucks Un now. Unless he's out of money, which that's a motivator. Yeah. Yeah. So you never know. And food so, ain't that we'll expensive. See. Come on. <laughs> Depend on what you eat. <laughs>